This is our Black History Month presentation by Leah Desai and Shira Saldu about George Washington Carver. Introduction. Mr. Carver was born on a farm near Diamond, Missouri. They didn't know, they didn't know when he was actually born, but the thing is January or June of 1864. He was born into slavery until it was outlawed. Mr. Carver died on January 5th of 1943. George Washington Carver attended Iowa State University. George Washington Carver was an agricultural scientist and inventor. He created different products using soybeans, peanuts, and sweet potatoes. This is a quote from Mr. Carver. When there is no vision, there is no hope. Now let me pass it on to Leah about early life and career. Okay, so Carver left his farm to go to an all-black school in Nisho at age 11. Andrew and Mariah Watkins took him in, and that is where Carver learned of Mariah's knowledge of medicinal herbs. He graduated from Minneapolis High School in 1880 and applied to Highland College in Kansas. He was accepted at the all-white college at first, but then rejected when the administration learned he was Black. Carver had studied art and piano to earn a teaching degree, but his professor at, at Simpson College was skeptical and was encouraged to study botany at Iowa State. On the left is Simpson College, and on the right is Iowa State. This is another quote from Mr. Carver. When you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. Now let me pass it on to Shreya. George Washington Carver was an agricultural scientist and an amazing inventor. He created different products using soybeans, sweet potatoes, and peanuts. These products include vinegar and flour from sweet potatoes. He also created non-edible products such as ink and dye. Mr. Carver created 300 food, commercial, and industrial products from peanuts, including milk, oyster sauce, cooking and salad oil, paper, cosmetics, soap, and wood stains. He traveled to India to promote racial harmony and discuss nutrition with Mahatma Gandhi. These are some of his achievements. Carver became the first African-American in, in 1894 to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. He also earned his Master of Agriculture degree in 1896 and received several offers, including one from Tuskegee Institute. Carver taught poor farmers different methods, such as acorns instead of feed and enriching croplands with swamp muck instead of fertilizers. Carver learned that years of growing cotton depleted nutrients in the soil, which resulted in low yields. By growing nitrogen-fixing plants, which include peanuts, soybeans, and sweet potatoes, the soil can be easily restored, which increased the yield for the cotton. He invented the Jessup Wagon, which was a mobile classroom that was used to demonstrate soil chemistry. There is no shortcut to achievement. Life requires through pre life requires thorough preparation. Veneer isn't worth anything. This is his legacy to the African American history. He was the first African American to earn a bachelor degree in science. He was able to cure different plant diseases and was an amazing mycologist, which is the study of fungi. He also got prestigious research opportunities and at reputable universities. He believed in racial harmony and promoted racial harmony for the world. During the mid 1930s, when the polio virus was present in America, Mr. Carver was convinced that peanuts could help. He created a treatment of massaging peanut oil. Although there was no scientific evidence that it would work, it still created positive results. Thank you.